Our song, Distant Land, the name of it, the title of the song, comes from the 15th chapter of Luke, what we tend to call the prodigal son, though of course a better name for that story is the waiting father. So the story says that the son runs off to a distant land and squanders his money, his inheritance, on wild living. So he's off in a distant land and he realizes that he should go back to the father and of course you know the rest of the story before he gets back the father runs out to meet him before he issues an apology the father has already embraced him so the verses of that song are just examples of when people might feel that they're in a distant land whatever that is sometimes it's far away from one another sometimes it's off exploring a distant country an important word in the chorus of that song is the word feeling that though the characters are feeling far from the father's hand they are not far from the father's hand they're in fact in the father's hand and then the third verse of that song is where it gets turned around and explains why God understands what it is like to be in a distant land because in the person of Jesus God comes and walks among us and lives in a distant land God knows, because of Jesus, what it is like to feel far from the Father's hand, to visit a distant land, a far-off country, and to still know that we are within the brace of God, even in a distant land. What I love about singing the distant land song, is like George was saying, that third verse where there's a twist, so we're singing along, we're like... Um, um, since the time he was born, we had it in for him. People be warned, this man is full of sin. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? And as soon as we sing the line, oh my God, people are like, did they just say, oh my God? Well, of course, um, it's a reference, you know, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief is a reference to Isaiah 53 and a reference to, to Jesus. And uh, the, oh my God, why have you forsaken me, is what Jesus prays. When Jesus prays the Psalms from the cross, he says, uh, you know, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But I do love the moment when we're singing along and we suddenly say, oh my God, and people don't expect it. But, you know, we're just quoting the Lord. And um, I hope that it's a twist where people are reminded that Jesus, Jesus walked in our shoes. She left her home, she'd had enough one day, and now she's alone. She didn't know what to say, and calling a friend, she didn't mean to fight. When will it end? Where is God tonight?
the time he was born We had it in For him People be warned That man is full Of sin A man of sorrows And acquainted With grief Oh my God Why have you forsaken Still there